Good morning friends, I'm here in my kitchen. I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube, $10 grocery challenge videos, where you have a budget of $10 and you cook all of your meals for that week with that budget. I decided I'd like to give it a try too. So I'm gonna show you what I buy. I'll take you along with me to the grocery store and then I'll show you what the meals look like prepared. For the purpose of the video, I will only be using the items that I buy today, along with the items that you see here salt, pepper, oil, and then these spice packets. They're just packets that I've picked up from fast food restaurants and just keep in my fridge. I'm gonna use these because I'm sure that everybody has some of these in their fridge, so, and they were free. <laughs> I found this cornmeal mix on clearance for $1.15. I love cornbread, it was a staple growing up, and this has 28 servings per container and a simple recipe to follow on the back. I'm gonna grab this and follow this recipe, but maybe alter it a little bit. I think that this will make a good breakfast and also a side for dinner. Another great option for bread is the clearance bakery rack. This whole loaf of bread is only 60 cents. Next, I'm gonna pick up some milk. I needed to make the cornbread. I would like to pick up buttermilk, but it's a little bit pricier. This is the cheapest milk that I can find for $1.14, so this is what I'm gonna get. I need eggs to make the cornbread, and I would also like some for breakfast. This half dozen is 77 cents. I remember when a whole dozen was 88 cents, and I think it was last year, you guys. Eggs have gone up so much. This pork chorizo is about the cheapest meat that I can find at $1.22. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. I can probably use this for tacos or to season some pinto beans. Beans and cornbread sound really good together and beans are a great source of fiber and protein. This pound bag is only a dollar and it has 13 servings. I feel like I can use the beans to make several different meals and stretch them out throughout the week, so I will be grabbing them. I've now spent $5.28, which is over half my budget. Right next to the beans is the rice. I'm gonna grab this one pound bag for 72 cents. If you're interested in the calorie and serving information, this bag has 10 servings of a fourth cup each for 160 calories. So far I've spent $6 even and I feel like I have some good basics to make meals. I want to add tortillas to make tacos and I also need to find some vegetables to add to this. My store usually has a peas and carrot mix for 77 cents. I only see sweet peas for 77 cents. I want more variety than just peas so I'm going to have to pony up the extra 7 cents for the mixed vegetables. This bag has four two-thirds cup servings or you could look at it like it has two and two thirds cup total. I'm having problems finding cheap tortillas. I already looked at the clearance bakery racks and didn't see any. So I'm gonna have to try harder to find a good price. The cheapest tortillas that I can find is this pack of 10 for $1.31. When I look down at the bottom shelf, I see a package of 30 for $1.48. I wish that I could purchase those, but unfortunately I cannot spare the extra 17 cents right now because there are other foods that I would like to purchase. Everything in my cart right now totals $8.15, which means that I only have $1.85 to spare, and I'm gonna head over to the produce department. Hopefully I can find some good stuff at good prices. Potatoes are very cheap and very filling at the same time, so I am going to look for the biggest one that I can find and grab it. Okay, I think I found the biggest one, and I guess that this is probably about a pound. If I had just a little bit more to spend, I could get a whole five pound bag of potatoes for $2.74. Bananas are 52 cents per pound, and I think that I can get a few for that price. I only have about a dollar left to spend, so I will probably go ahead and weigh these to make sure that I get about a pound. I put three bananas in there and it's 0.92 pounds, so I think that that is what I'll get. With only about 59 cents left, I decided to add in a bunch of green onions for 50 cents. They will add flavor to a lot of the dishes that I'm making this week. And now I'm ready to check out. I'll let you know how it goes. 
Well, it's not $10, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna look at my receipt and let you guys know what rang up higher than I expected. Well, guys, I'm back home. I feel like I did a pretty good job with the $10. I'm upset that I went over. I figured out how I went over. It was because the milk, although it was labeled $1.14 in the store, it rang up $1.26. So I'm a little bit upset about that, but I actually, funny enough, I got back 10 cents on Ibotta for any milk offer. So really I am a penny under, <laughs> I know that kind of doesn't count. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to soak these beans right here. The cornbread right out of the oven. It has eight to 10 servings. I found these little jams in my tub of condiment. For breakfast on day one and two, it'll be cornbread with the jam and a whole banana. I'll also be adding a mug of milk about halfway full to breakfast on days one through four. Breakfast on day three is the same except for half a banana instead of a full banana. And breakfast on day four is the same except for the blackberry jam instead of strawberry. Breakfast days five through seven, I'm going to have a breakfast burrito. I scramble the eggs with just a dash of milk and sprinkle some salt and pepper on top. I cook the tortilla in the pan with a little bit of oil. I have a bunch of these sauce packets in my container of condiments. So I will be using a packet of sauce on each of these breakfast burritos. And this is what it looks like without mild sauce. I just took a bite out of it and guys, I love breakfast burritos. They're so good. And even just with the eggs and the sauce, it's still delicious. For lunch on days one and two, I'll be making some fried rice. I cooked up a bunch of rice. I'm not gonna use all of it, but I will be using a green onion, one egg, some soy sauce packets, a third cup vegetables, some oil and salt and pepper. I'll show you the finished product when I am done. This is the finished product. I just added a cup of that cooked rice. I have plenty of rice left over for tomorrow. Now I'll try it and tell you guys what I think. It turned out really well. Normally I would have added some garlic and used sesame seed oil, but I didn't feel like it was right to do with this experiment. And I think it turned out pretty well, even without those ingredients. For lunch on days three, four, and five, I'm gonna have a tortilla with some chorizo inside. I'm also gonna have some fried potatoes on the side. This is a really big potato, so I know that I'm gonna have enough for three days. I will show you guys what it looks like when I've cooked it up. On days three, four, and five is gonna be a burrito with some chorizo. I sprinkled a little bit of green onion on top. You can omit that if you don't like that and some fried potatoes. I love fried potatoes. And I'm really excited to eat this lunch. I've never had this chorizo before. I will let you guys know what I think. I also have some packets there of ketchup and some sauce from Taco Bell. I probably will not be using the Taco Bell sauce because the chorizo has a seasoning at all, on it already. And I probably won't use the ketchup either. I just put it there as an example of what you could use. Just took a few bites and the potatoes were delicious. As I said, I love fried potatoes. And after you cook them, make sure to sprinkle salt on them while they're still hot and it'll stick to the oil. On day six and seven, you'll have the old staple of rice and beans and some mixed veggies too. I added a green onion on top of the beans to give it a little bit more flavor. I would have liked to have made some Spanish rice, but I didn't have it in the budget to get a can of tomatoes. You have these mixed vegetables here. You could easily add them to the rice along with some tomatoes and oil and make a version of Spanish rice. Before I soak the beans, I go through them little by little to make sure that there are no rocks. And then let me know in the comments if this was your job as a child. <laughs> because when I was little, this was my job was to go through the dried beans before we soak them. I'm gonna soak these beans overnight. I added about six cups of water to this. And then in the morning, I'm gonna stick them in the crock pot to cook. Okay guys, this is what the beans look like in the morning after soaking overnight. I'm gonna rinse them off and stick them in the crock pot. I've added about six cups of water to this crock pot and some salt. I'm gonna add some of this pork chorizo 
Typically, I would add some hand fat back, but because that isn't the, in the budget, I'm just gonna add this chorizo just a little bit to give it some flavor as it cooks. And this is the amount that I'm adding, not a whole lot. So I will cook that on low for six to eight hours. The beans have been cooking for, I think about eight hours and they look really good. I'm about to dish them out. Dinner on nights one, two, and three. I'm gonna have soup beans along with cornbread and I found some butter in that stash of condiments. So I'll have butter on the cornbread all three nights. And then I just sprinkled some green onions on top of the soup beans just to add a little more flavor. If you're wondering how the soup beans taste after being flavored by the chorizo, I would say not that much different than normal. As far as the cornbread, I would have liked to have added cream corn. That's what I usually do when I make cornbread, but I didn't really have the funds to do that this time. So it just tastes like regular cornbread, not super delicious cornbread. For dinner on days four through seven, it will be a bean burrito with a little bit of green onion sprinkled on top and rice on the side. I also have, as you guys know, a ton of those Taco Bell sauce packets. So I'm gonna put a little bit on that and enjoy. Just used my sauce packet and took a bite and it was delicious. I would like to add some cheese on it, but even without the cheese, the refried beans are really good, especially with the green onion to add a little bit of flavor. I haven't included any snacks in this experiment, but if you have sugar and vanilla in your pantry already, you can use some of your leftover rice to make a rice pudding if you wanna sacrifice some of your milk to do that. And it requires a little bit of salt too. If you have any cinnamon or dried fruit like raisins, you could add that to the rice pudding to make it even more delicious. So what I learned from this experiment is that when you are on a low budget, you're gonna have a lot of repetition in your food. I tried to mix it up by changing the form of the food, like to change the pinto beans into refried beans, but there, were, there was a lot of repetition. Um, also, I wanted to add that if I had spent just a dollar more, I could have gotten twice the amount of eggs that I did and twice the amount of tortillas. So that's a real eye opener about how the economy of buying foods, if you are only buying for one week and you only have $10, it is very difficult to do it in an economical way. If you have even $10 more, you can stock up on some items that will last you for longer. And at the end of this week, pretty much the only thing we have left is that cornmeal mix. <laughs> but the cornmeal mix can last you for a while. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any budget tips when it comes to stretching food, leave it in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed already, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.